Despite different views of events that led to this crisis, Kerry says the United States and Russia agree on the importance of finding a diplomatic solution, and both made suggestions about how to de-escalate the security and political situation. We also agreed to work with the Ukrainian government and the people to implement the steps that they are taking to assure the following priorities. The rights of national minorities, language rights, demobilization and disarmament of irregular forces and provocateurs, an inclusive constitutional reform process, and free and fair elections monitored by the international community. Apparent progress toward easing the most serious standoff since the end of the Cold War comes as the White House calls on Russia to pull back troops and the Kremlin wants the international community to help stabilize the situation. For now, Lavrov says Moscow will not move beyond Crimea. We have absolutely no intention of or interest in crossing Ukraine's borders. We only want for the work to be multilateral to stop these riots that the West is trying to cover up. Moscow says the new government in Kiev threatens Russian speakers in Ukraine and has used that to justify its actions in Crimea. We will be protecting the rights of Russians and Russian speakers in Ukraine using all political, diplomatic and legal means at our disposal. American University professor Keith Darden says Washington must recognize what he calls Russia's illegitimate response to some very legitimate concerns. It's certainly not the case that there's been a fascist takeover in Kiev, uh, but it's also certainly not the case that this is a representative government that reflects the broad attitudes of the Ukrainian population. Lavrov's calling on Kiev to give local authorities more power. Darden says decentralization could satisfy many of Russia's concerns. Who controls Kiev shouldn't matter as much, I think. And that would be very stabilizing for the Russian-speaking regions of the south and east if they felt that they could elect local representatives who actually had power, who could protect their rights. With Ukrainians commemorating those killed during last month's demonstrations, campaigning's already underway for May elections, with presidential candidate Petro Poroshenko calling for justice for those responsible for the violence, and rival candidate Yulia Tymoshenko calling for Crimea's return. Crimea is Ukrainian, and we will return it to us and release it from the occupation. Following these talks with Lavrov, Kerry's looking to keep up pressure on Russia at this week's meeting of NATO foreign ministers, with President Obama calling on the transatlantic alliance to station more troops in countries that may feel vulnerable. Scott Stearns, VOA News, Paris.